Wittenberg's town hall is being displayed in a new light, for a while at least. League Draka, or Light Dragon, is the title of a project by 15 international artists. They combine videos with live dance performances. At times, it's hard to tell fact from fiction, thanks to the special video mapping software. We had to work hard in the space. We can't change the space according to our wishes. I'll give you an example. The statue of Luther is just a few meters in front of the town hall. This was quite a challenge. How can you project an image on the facade with this huge statue in the middle? Ligdraka alludes to the biblical characters Adam and Eve in The Fall of Man by Renaissance artist Lucas Cronach the Younger whose 500th birthday is being celebrated this year. Cronach, seen here to the right, worked on commissions together with his famous father, Lucas Cronach the Elder. The snake was to become the trademark of their workshop in Wittenberg. Lucas Cronach the Younger is best known for his portraits. It's striking how often reformer Martin Luther appeared in his paintings. Lucas Cranach the Younger was always overshadowed by his father, Lucas Cranach the Elder. And this year, for the first time, he's really emerged from the shadows. His pictures gave the Reformation a profile in the world because he kept on portraying the reformers in his pictures. The strong motifs of Lucas Cranach the Younger's works have inspired artists through the centuries. His portrayal of Christ's crucifixion, for example, Germany's Josef Beuys, Russian painter Mark Chagall, and U.S. artist Keith Haring all drew on Cronach's symbolism, as did Pablo Picasso and Henri Matisse. Wittenberg artist Ulrika Kirchner has concentrated on Cronach's portraits. She's created 11 works inspired by his paintings and displayed them on the outside of a shopping mall, turning it into a street gallery. The procedure is a technical one. They're like billboards, but billboards of a different kind. One's designed to catch the eye and get people thinking. The light installation, Word Up, moves Cronach's former print workshop on Wittenberg's marketplace to center stage. Cronach the Younger took over the running of the family business. What I found very exciting and interesting was that this building was Cronach's print workshop. And it was the age when book printing started here in this region. It's very exciting to work with the workshop's equipment, in particular the type, the individual letters. Modern-day artists interpret a painter who was born 500 years ago in very diverse ways. Would the Renaissance painter have approved? I think he'd be pleased, definitely. It's always nice to have a specific context. Cranach has always been explained inside out. Everything's been recorded in detail. But it's always good to have a different perspective on the same topic. One that's a bit more flexible, not so set in stone. One thing is for sure, Wittenberg isn't likely to forget Lucas Cronach the Younger anytime soon. Events to mark Cronach's 500th birthday continue until November. <laughs>